G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to do a Zim Rider review. I'm going to walk you through what it is, how it works, what I've been able to achieve with it, ranking wise, with this awesome tool. So let's jump into it. All right, so what is Zim Rider? Zim Rider is this bad boy behind me. Zim Rider is essentially one of the many, many AI content producing tools out there right now. But the difference with this bad boy is the fact that it actually sits on your computer compared to the other ones that actually sit on servers. So this thing is a lot cheaper. Now, what have I been able to achieve with this cheaper version of AI content creating? Well, a lot of wonderful things, and I'll show them momentarily. But the guy that created this, Matt Zimmerman, I think he has a wonderful product. I've been using it for a couple of months now and can honestly say that this has been the thing that's been the best out of everything that I heard. I've used Article Forge for a long time. That was something that I used. It got slapped, got a little bit better, still actually testing that on a couple of websites, but it's just, it's not getting the results that this is. This uses OpenAI's Playground. So if you do want to get this tool, you are going to need to have an API from OpenAI. It's that simple. That's what they use. It's brilliant. Honestly, I recommend it. Let me show you the result I've been able to achieve. This is a Zim Writer article. Before we jump into the features and everything, check this out. So, carpet cleaning SEO. Now, you can check this yourself, but look at this. Carpet cleaning SEO. That's a Zim, Zim Writer article right there, guys. That's what I've achieved with Zimrider. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, just FYI, obviously, we have gone in and, and made some tweaks. But overall, this is a Zimrider article. That's what I've been able to achieve. Now, some other things I've been able to achieve with it, rather keep them close to the chest. But there's an example of how good it is. And that's why you need to try it out for yourself. Because if you can produce these types of results right here with an AI piece of content, well, it's worth paying attention to. So let's jump back into the Zim Rider. So what types, all right, let's jump in all of the features. So the types of AI content creation that the Zim Rider produces. So let's have a look at it. So when you install it on your computer, you're going to open it up like this. Now you've got the one click blog writer, the SEO blog writer, which I use, the blog, uh, bulk blog writer, local SEO buffet. And then you can do all the settings and everything else like that. So this is how it will look for you. All right. So let's start with the one click blog writer. Let's grab that, put that up here. Now, when would you use this? And what's been my findings when I've used this? This is a long tail thing. So you would want to throw in like they've shown tips to make money online in there. That's what you'd want to throw in there. What have been the results? Not great. To be completely honest, not great. Because you're doing something very important to stress with this whole AI revolution and AI content creation. Even if you are using ZimWriter, even if this ZimWriter review is in depth, guys, you're doing what millions of other people are doing if you just throw a long tail keyword in there and hope for the best. You're going to get the same as the million other people doing that. If you want to achieve good results, you have to do it differently. So do I recommend this? Uh, yeah, if you're trying to build out pages, but if you're trying to rank, eh, I wouldn't. SEO blog writer, we'll come back to because I'm going to do an article with you. Now, when it comes to the bulk blog writer, so this bad boy right here, okay? You can do 10, throw 10 posts in. And as you can see over here, guys, you can put in how many H2s you want. What's a minimum? No. How long do you want them to be? Do you want them to be longer, shorter? You can put in, you know, boost chance of detection is real. Definitely want to select that. Enable FAQs and enable a T, so a bit enticing, trying to entice someone to read your article. Now, what has been my findings with the bulk blog writer? Again, meh. Honestly, some of the pages that I've created with the bulk blog writer have not actually been indexed, okay? I don't like, the truth of it is if you do this, 
You are just, again, doing what millions of other people are doing. You have to, if you want something to rank, you have to do it differently. It's just that simple. So by doing this, I've found that around about 70% of things get indexed. Great for a PBN, fantastic for a PBN. This is what I'd suggest if you're building a PBN network and you want to have some good pages that are not too bad, not great, but not awful, right in that uh, space in there is where these fit and how you could use these. That's when I would use this. The other thing is the local SEO buffet. This thing is pretty cool, all right? So this thing creates local pages and now we'll run through this. So I'll actually run through this. So let's talk about the business type, like it says the cleaning service in there. So let's call it, you know, let's just say digital marketing, digital marketing. Let's call it that. Say Osborne digital marketing. So business highlights, award winning agency. Uh, let's be like, I don't know. What other things can we put in there? Uh, award winning, let's put in 10 years experience. All right. Now boost detection is real and you can put in whatever you want in here. Like, veteran owned business is a bit cliche and dramatic i know but yeah i'm not gonna lie i'm on the spot <laughs> and i'm frozen up but yeah that's uh you put whatever you want in here uber awesome guy let's just throw that in there now this is where you can put in uh locations okay so you can put in as many locations and what this will do is produce for each keyword and service that you put in, so it will produce a page, okay? So what you can do is you can go in here and you can be like, service locations. So Fort Lauderdale, uh, grab that, and then let's go Miami. We could do that, okay? So we can put in Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Now the first service that we can put in, so again, I wonder what we're gonna put in. Oh, SEO, look at that. Now you could put in PPC, all right? Now the unique selling point. So what's a unique selling point? Again, you can put in anything here, like results, like insured uh, results, customer satisfaction, Gar oh my goodness, I'm gonna butcher this. Uh, guarantee, I'm pretty sure I've, my bad guys. And then the benefits you could put in there. What are the benefits of this? It's, um, uh, let's say drives, uh, leads, um, attracts new, clients let's say that so what you can do is you can start the local buffet oh do, 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 do. you must specify five business highlights oh okay so i didn't put in five business highlights so you gotta put in five um yeah well known in florida let's put in that you're going to start creating files. Da, da, da. So th what this will do now, and I'll show you the finished products, is obviously I've skipped through that a bit. But when you use the local uh, buffet, it creates all of these pages. Now, what has been my findings from the local SEO buffet pages? Oh, I'm going to be honest, guys. Mixed bag. Do I use them? Not really. Not really. To be completely honest, I've not used them because I think you, you can use things like WP Zinc, just honestly, if you're going to do mass pages, I want something that's easy. I want something that if I'm going to blank in an area with pages, I want something that's easy. This is just a manual content being created. Now, I don't know if I can move this. No, I can't. But down the bottom of your page, it actually has a little thing indicating it's like cooking meal one. So it's going to go through and actually like prepare each of the pages. And as soon as one of them's done, I'll actually have a look to see if we can grab the output of one. 
still at 75%. So we'll just have to wait. I'll come back, guys. Okay, so in this Zim Rider review, I utilized the local buffet thing. And you can see behind me over that way, over both those ways, you can see the one behind me is for Miami and the other one is for Fort Lauderdale. Now, as you can see, they are quite similar, just spun up a little bit. And like I was saying before, for me personally, and this is just my opinion, for me to clean this up, put all of this together, then create a page, then to do all of that, is this actually worth using? For me, no, it's not. But maybe for you, you're just getting started out. This is, you know, really, really good. And I think it is kind of cool. So on those, let's say you're using a Duda or you're using something that you're not able to really easily like mass generate pages at the snap of your fingers. This is quite handy. This might actually be really, really good for you. But as you can see, it is quite similar. So Osborne, let's look at the meta title. So create all of that for you, which is pretty cool. Basically the exact same thing there. Oh, shoot, team mode based in Fort Lauderdale. Do, 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 do. So yeah, you can see like it has changed up some instances. Like it has flipped it around a bit. Like I said, it's, it is good. It, it's a great tool. And I think it's a fantastic tool. But do I personally use it for the local stuff? No, I don't. But maybe you can. Maybe this is just right for you. Where I use ZimRider, this is the ZimRider feature that I absolutely adore the most. Let's get rid of all of this. And you can obviously review those by yourself. But what I use it for is the SEO blog writer. This is the bad boy that I use. This is how I was able to rank for a lot, even some really difficult keywords, first page of Google with this. Now, yes, still with human intervention. So us utilizing and populating the titles and doing all of the additional legwork that you need to do if you want to rank an article. But this is just sick. All right, honestly. So this is the SEO blog writer in Zim Writer. This is what I use. This is what my team uses when we're creating a lot of articles that are AI. So the first thing you'll need to do if you're using the Zim Writer blog writer, SEO blog writer, is enter a title. So let's just do what is SEO. Let's just do that. Make it, make it nice and simple. Now, you can go through and enter in as many H2s as you want. So let's just say, and I'm making a video on specifically how to utilize optimization tools in conjunction with ZimRider so you can get the results that I showed you. I am making one of those videos. That'll be out a week from today. So when you're watching this, so keep an eye out for that. But when you're looking at this, you can enter in your details, whatever header you want. So it's you could say, what is search engine optimization? You can do that. Or you can come over here, you can get rid of that if you wanted. You could grab this and in here you could put in keywords. So let's say backlinks. I'd want to talk about backlinks in SEO. I'd want to talk about on-page SEO. I'd want to talk about off-page SEO. I want to talk about keyword, keyword research for sure. So now once you've done that, you can enter in some keywords and you can go try method three, click this. And now what this is going to do, it's going to go boop, and populate all of this for you. So as you can see all of that, look at this backlinks, keywords, on page, off page. Fantastic, isn't it? So this is where you can place in a couple of keywords. Again, with your SEO optimization tools, you'll be given headers to put in. That's how you do it. Now, when you are looking at creating an article, so you have the H2 section link. Again, depends on you guys. You want long, you want short. I like medium because I'm not going to have something that's crazy long. I'll have something that's medium. And as you can see, there's some pretty good H2s already produced in here. All right. So some pretty good H2s already created. So I leave that as medium. Now voice, you can have very personal, so a little bit more I, I in the article, which I think that's the way Google's going. You shouldn't be talking the whole third person thing anymore. I think unless you're doing like a case study, so to speak, 
I think make it very personal. So that's what I select. Uh, enable lists, so you can have a list in there. Definitely want that feature. Enable tables, enable FAQs, so produce FAQs. Enable a tease and boost chance of uh, detection as real. Now, this is where you can come in and select your audience, uh, the type of audience that you might be, <laughs> the personality of your audience, should I say. Like I said, outlaws. Is anyone out there an outlaw? I'm writing this article for you in here. So there's a jet setter, every man, caregiver, ruler, creator, innocent. Like, there's a lot of things in there. So generally, I like creator because creators, as in that creative, and you can put in here, uh, right in the style of, as an example, Al Capone they have here. Is that what you need to do if you're using Zimwriter? No, but in this Zimwriter review, I'm going to just put, uh, let's talk about right in the style of a person that knows everything about SEO and is explaining it to a newbie of SEO. That's it. Now, keywords per subheading, so you can put it in, set that up again, what you sort of, how many uh, headings you want. Automatic keywords, you can do that, or you can even add in keywords. So again, I would want to have all of this throughout my keywords. What is SEO? I'd want to have that in there. I'd want to have search engine optimization. I'd want to have SEO in there, all of this. Okay, so you can throw in the keywords that you want. Now, you can have this thing here, so best of, like best, perhaps it'll talk in this scenario, to like best maybe services or best people to do SEO services. That's where you can utilize this. But once it's done, you can hit start writer. Okay, so now it's going to write. Now we will wait for that to write. So when you hit the start, normally, honestly, it takes about five minutes from, from start to finish. So what, what, what I'm going to discuss now in this Zim Writer review is the actual prices of Zim Writer whilst we wait for that article and then I'll show you what was created with that article. Now, I believe the subscription, so you have the subscription where it's 10 bucks a month. So, and that's where you're meant to get unlimited everything. Now, remember guys, you will also need open, a, like open AI access. So you need to get an API from there and you will need to pay for that as well. So you'll either need to pay the 10 bucks a month, which is like insanely cheap. And then if you're producing like an AI article with open AI, I think it's like on average, I think we spend like, it's peanuts guys. It's like maybe 50 cents an article or something like that. It's cheap as chips, cheap as chips if you use AI. You know, normally if you're from start to finish, if we're doing an optimized article from start to finish with a human writer, we don't charge less than $150. So if you're trying to save a buck, you can use AI for now. Or you have the lifetime deal. So this is what I went. I went the 197 because I use it all the time. I've already well outspent this tool now. This thing has built me web. This, this thing alone has put on content on about 35 websites since I've had it. It's been pretty good. So $197 for that lifetime deal pretty fantastic link for that and this subscription service will be down below so that way you can actually access these services so you can access all of that the cons i'll actually go into a couple of the now we've talked about the prices of zimrider i'll talk about some tips and tricks and the pros and cons of zimrider a big tip if you're going to use anything at ai whilst we wait for the blog is to ensure that you put the finishing touches on it. Do not, I repeat, I can't stress it enough, do not think that purchasing this tool will mean you achieve the results like I showed you with the carpet cleaning SEO. It isn't gonna happen. It just won't because that's what millions of other people are doing. You need to go the extra mile to help optimize your content and then upload it, okay? Once you create the content, what I would suggest doing is throwing it into a tool like Grammarly or and personally, what I actually use a lot of the time, Grammarly is good, but I love Quillbot's Grammar Checker because I throw it in there at one button, click, and it fixes all of the grammatical issues. Done. One click. 
fast as. So you're going to save yourself about 15 minutes compared to Grammarly. That's just my personal recommendation. And hey, I've got the results to show that it works. So that's something that you can do and something you want to do. A big con that I have for ZimWriter is that it takes time. Like, look, look, it's still writing that article. And that's one article. One article. So you do have to take your time. But if you look at it on the other side, you would have had to pay a content writer a lot more. And you'd be waiting hours. So there is that. I still think it's a fantastic tool. The other con that I would say with it is that you do have to, every time a new update comes out, you have to go in, delete it, reinstall, update. That's honestly, that's, it's so painful. It is painful. So I'm being brutally honest in this Zim Rider review, guys. I'm talking about the pros and the cons. Buy it if you want. Use it if you want. If you don't, don't. It's entirely up to you. But I'm going to talk about the cons. So yes, it's painful when you have to re-update it. I've had a dramas when we were moving into this six. It wasn't easy for me. I had to do a lot of mucking around. It took me about 30, probably 45 minutes in all honesty to just get the new update. So it takes time. And if there's a new update coming out every week or two weeks and you're losing 30 minutes, it does get a little bit frustrating. So that definitely needs to be improved. That is something that is a massive con of the Zim write-up, I personally think. When it comes to the articles completed, but let me keep going through the pros and cons. Now, something that another thing that i would advise when it comes to using zim writer especially with the seo blog you're going to get a huge piece of content you're not going to get something that's a thousand words long 1500 words long it's going to be five thousand words long it's huge they're always massive massive articles that's another bit of a con i want to be able to say don't go over three thousand words that's something that I really think that they do need to improve on the Zim Rider. In this Zim Rider review, I think that it would be ideal if they could produce like they've got here where they say it's in between this. We need to have that option to be able to say, hey, I want a 3,000 word article only. Because if you're writing a 5,000 word article for a SERP that's rewarding 1,500 word articles, optimize all you want you'll still end up on the bottom of page two. That's just how it goes. So here is the article that it created. Let me drag this for some reason. It's not let me bring this up here for some reason, which is awfully interesting. There we go. That was weird. So this is the article. This is basically how to look for you. So you can see that it's, it's quite long. There's a bit of a table here. And this is another con, perfect example, guys. Like, this is why I like this stuff. So this was meant to be probably a table. And as you can see, it's all muddled up and a little bit funny. This happens with it, all right? This does happen with it. You'll get a table. Then you have to go in and clean up this data yourself. So sometimes, and to be completely honest, I don't use the tables because I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered having my team muck around with this when we're at our own table. So that is just something to be cautious of. But as you can see, it did produce a pretty good article. And again, here's this, you have to clean that up. That all has to be cleaned up. But overall, it's a pretty good article, right? Look at how long it is. Look at how concise it is. It looks pretty good. Overall, if done correctly, investing in SEO can pay off for years down the road, providing consistent brand exposure and potential leads. That's really well written. That's it's really convincing. It's really enticing for someone to actually read. That's really, really nice. So I like it. I do like it. And do I recommend it? Absolutely. If you were to come to me and say, what AI tool should I be using right now? That's pretty reasonably priced. I'd say ZimWriter. Hands down, ZimWriter. But make sure that you use it in conjunction. Now, if I've helped you with this ZimWriter review, make sure you like and subscribe. Because if you do purchase this tool, you're going to want to know how to actually use it effectively to rank like I have. That's what you really, really want to do with this tool. So next week, you'll have a video showing you exactly how to do that. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you then. Cheers, guys.